So the holidays are coming. So you know what that means. You're supposed to be joyous and happy all the time, even though the stress level is at an all-time high. The fucking holidays. So what I offer you today is a survival guide for holiday stress. Welcome to Body of Truth. I am Rebecca Windsor. Body of Truth was born after years of just pretending everything was fine, suppressing all of my own wants and intuition. I My marriage of 25 years ended rather abruptly and shortly after my son left for college. So I really needed to rebuild most of my identity that was really tied up in being a wife and a mother. So in that, I learned uh, some really valuable lessons. I knew things had to really fundamentally change for me. But the most important lesson that I learned, and this is what I help women that are entering uh, the process of separation and divorce deal with, is to make dramatic changes in your life, you do need to bring these changes up, I feel, through your physical body. You need to practice muscle memory along with the decision-making process so that you knit these two together, creating a new actual change in the topography of your brain. And that way, the way you think about things is actually changed. And when you change your inner world, your outer world changes that much easier. I hope to really give you a place to start a dialogue with yourself um, and, of course, a dialogue uh, with me because I always ask you a couple of questions. So, you know, the being together with family, which I just was for, for Thanksgiving, was so beautiful. It was so special. It was lovely. And it was relatively friction-free. And I know that's not always the case. Um, but I will say that as we get closer to Christmas and New Year's and, and schedules and social engagements or the lack of social engagements um, start to rack up, the stress level goes crazy. And so what I recommend and what I do to recenter myself is I want you to find a place as far away from everybody else as possible. Really, ideally, it is in nature. Without a home in sight, if that's um, if that's available to you, where the sounds that you hear are not traffic, where the sounds you hear are the rustle of the wind in the trees that I've always loved because it reminds me of, if you listen, it's the rustle of the waves climbing back from the beach. Uh, and it sounds like rollers sometimes too, as the as the wind undulates through the the leaves and the branches of trees. I really hope for you that you are able to find a place of peace. And I absolutely am someone that will lay on the cold ground <laughs> to ground myself, to center myself, to really have a conversation with the earth. Sounds crazy, I know. But think about all the energy that flows back and forth from the earth and yourself. In fact, one an exercise to do is just plant your feet very firmly on the earth and picture the roots coming out like you're the root of yourself, the root, your root coming out through the bottom of your feet, going down into the earth, intermingling with other people's roots as you go all the way deep into the core of the earth. Let yourself feel grounded, let yourself feel centered, and take deep breaths throughout trying to really, and then you'll feel the energy then come up and be returned to you through the earth to you. You know, the conversation with Mother Earth is one that we are having whether we know it or not. And what I'm suggesting is you give it a little bit of language and you give it a little bit of breathing and rhythm with your breathing. I think this is a really good way to give yourself a little bit of a store, uh, basically a storeroom of a place where maybe you could return to either physically if you can, but if not, just a central place as things start to get a little bit hectic that you can go back to and revisit. And maybe even, here's my last suggestion, as you stand rooted in that space that is giving you space and you're breathing and you're listening to the wind, you're listening to animals nearby, pick a place on your body where you apply just some pressure, just a little. It doesn't need to be hard. It doesn't need to be there. It can be wherever you feel like you want to just let your, your body remember that touch. So then when you're in a moment of stress, Try to bring yourself back to that place 
with that same feeling. Take those same breaths and see if you can get yourself to that clearing and that quiet space within you. I know the holidays do a number on me too. But what I hope for you is to give you a little bit as we get closer of a survival guide to help you get through it and manage the it's so crazy, you know, we, we have all these expectations of joyousness and gaiety. And then <laughs> sometimes those are the very things that make us crazy. So I'm offering a place to just take a boat moment, take a beat, take a breath and start your conversation with, as my, as my Colombian sister would tell me, Pachamama. She is all of our mothers and she needs our conversation with her just as we need her conversation with us. Take a breath with me. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe, share it with someone that you think would benefit. I upload every day and I will see you tomorrow.